There's no excuse. Not I want to be Jesus Christ, God damn it. I can't. Now, I'm trying to be comfortable with just Roland Young. So have you done this your whole life? Hi, I'm here to work with me. Oh, man, I don't know. What was the news? No, not yet. Did you get that shot or what? No, I, uh, I combined two images of a uh, Middle Eastern and uh, Scooter Living. But why is this so pretty? And what does that mean? Uh, that our current government seems to be going uh, very religious. Right. So I already know that. But is this the best you can do? How many more do you have? Two? Are these yours? Yeah. Two? Oh. Okay, what is that? It's a uh, bird. It's a what? A hamburger. How do I know that's a hamburger? It's an interesting shot, but it doesn't look like a hamburger. Well, I've cropped it so that it's like, I want to make it look like more gross. I think it looks delicious. Are you kidding? <laughs> it looks Chinese. You know, I finally a goddamn hamburger that looks delicious. You know, you know what's an ugly hamburger? The trend that's in Denny's, you know, the, the menu where it's all these these little food things? You like those? No, man, I was just saying no. But look, that looks like it's real food. Okay, what does that mean? Um, I was trying to say the same thing as the hammer. But what is it? Like that we get our patriotism through, like, you know, patriotic ice cream and, like, I mean, it's an interesting idea, but how is it? How come it's melting? I mean, what, what's going on here? It doesn't even look like ice cream. You know, how do you communicate ice cream? Um, is it just because you shoot ice cream and go there? No, that's ice cream. I guess like the like scoops. But it doesn't look like a scoop. What makes it look like a scoop? Yeah, and it has riches, right? It has all kinds of shit to communicate. I wanted to get something that was very, like, No, colorful. you wanted to get something that that's what you can do, and that's about it. You don't go after it like a designer goes after it. Did you shoot that picture, too? Or what? Yeah, see, I, I'm going to pull that fucking plug out of that computer. Horrible. Okay, whose is this? Big word. I don't know what to do with you. You know, how come you're so average? Well, it's too bizarre that you have a, a subject like Mexico and you give me these shots that are so average. Do you have something to say about Mexico? What does that mean? So what? Versus what? What do you mean? Mexican food is messy? I don't get it, man. Okay, what does that mean? That's interesting, but I don't... What? So you, you solve everything on a, from a logical plane, and you're really average. 
Remember you had something to say, what do you want to learn in this class, you know, right? And you say all the right things, and then when you start doing stuff, it looks like a banker did it. Is that true? Not a banker. Oh, show me. Work looks like a banker did it. How long did it take you to do this? How many did you shoot? We went to like probably three or four places in Name them. about 50 um, Gloria's Taco Stand, Maria's, uh, Carmen's. Where are they? Uh, Azusa. Are they any good? And you can only get three pictures out of three restaurants? No, we got more of it. You got more, but I thought I'd choose a banker's vision. Oh, we got, everybody's got more. There are lots of geniuses all hidden away. Huh? I don't know, man. I don't know what to do with it. Has Nick met you? Hasselmas? I want you to go meet him one on one. He says, Roland says, I have a problem. I'm not talented and I should do average stuff. What do you do about it? You know, I think Roland is lying. Here's my work. I'm going to show you what I do. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just also average looking. Can, can you see that these are average? No? You can't see it. <laughs> Say again? I've been doing so many posters on the camera. Well, all average. All average posters. That's all you keep looking at. Look at these are posters. You understand? They're done by your contemporaries. These are posters. You follow? These are posters. These are just pictures of you eating. Can you deal with it? And that's a dead rooster. Can you deal with it? This is just one assignment. You want to go to the next one? By the third time of the trademarks, you'll be barfing in this class. Did I miss anybody here? There's some missing. Who didn't put up posters? Where are you? Are you done? Where is it? You're done. Yeah, you're done. Who else didn't do it? Where are you? Where is it? Were you here last week? Okay, you failed the class. Right? You don't put the posters up. You just sit there. You must be academic. Is that true? Did you major in academics uh, uh, in another school? Huh? You can't take that head in here, man. This is the war. What's your name? Last name? You're not even on here, are you? Look at that. Which one would you rather have? See, you don't want to work hard. Right? You know what I mean? Or is this as hard as you're working? What are you going to work hard? Yeah. What's your major? Okay. No shit. You're going to have me again and again and again. <laughs> you know the that majors they are going to get their hearts ripped off and put on a table. If they keep doing this, they're out. Who's the major? Where are you? No. Yeah. What's your major? Graphics. Are you glad you're not coming through me? <laughs> <laughs> This is brilliant. And he did too. He's so scared. He's so afraid. <laughs> you know, this is aesthetic. So it's like a photographer, photographic aesthetic uh, with a uh, right. So there's two choices. I'm a very upfront. I prefer that one. This one's kind of noisy, but it's like that. 
very, very good. So it's highly subjective which one you like. They both have this idea. I love this one. This is cricket. Doesn't have to be ugly. As long as it doesn't spell out Karen. I love it. <laughs> There's a highly sophisticated use of composition. And so it's Korea is nothing more than this pepper. That's it. Just give it to me, man. Love it. I love the type. And she's so scared of me. She's got to come out with this thing, right? Post Black Dahlia Adventure poster. <laughs> this is where the two posters sort of collided <laughs> with each other. I prefer that one. Okay. I look at the two, it goes, Roland likes equity. Roland likes ugly. For sure he'll pick this one. Uh -uh. This one's better. <laughs> because aesthetically and composition is highly, highly sophisticated. Knows type, knows color, knows placement. This one anybody could do. I don't know if you know the difference. This one, wonderful. Well, who's it? Wonderful. This is a pretty ugly. Beautiful. It's hard to do shit like this. Perfect place for type. You could have done these two for the uh, poster also. It's all kitsch. It's called Kitsch Bad Taste America and the Worldwide Bad Taste. It's all over the world. Beautiful. Okay, whose is this one? Yours too? Okay. See, this is pretty, pretty, pretty. A la uh, Andy Warhol. Pretty, pretty, pretty Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe. Pretty, pretty. This better. Much better. Heavy shit right here. Wrong way. Is that a cut? Is that a cut? How come it's how come it's like that? Looks like a cut. Or is that a cigarette? Or what is that? Is that a cigarette? How do I know it's a cigarette? I don't know. It looks like a cut to me. It looks like a tear. Yeah, these are getting better. Where are you? Yeah. Okay, now this is started. This is like Desperate Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Huh? I know you. Nothing. Everything I learned, I've already seen everything. Did you get it? <coughs> but I kind of like it. It's like, this is the Garden of Eden. As referred to by Terry Hatcher. So you start. This is interesting. Okay, is the act. This is interesting. Are those yours? The lettering is really terrific on that one. Uh, I don't like the band aid. You know, right? I want it weird. What else could you put there? I love that lettering. She's a good typographer. These are getting better. Yeah, this one's first starting. Okay, who's are these? Yeah. Go. Go. Bring it home, like that homeless guy. Oh, what is that? Someone looking through the window? Yeah, man, what is the, what's that? <laughs> Hi, are you scared? <laughs> Where'd you put, trick or treat? I'm looking for that. I'm looking for shit like that. See, now it's getting weirder and weirder. Okay, where are you? Yeah, these are interesting, where are you? Okay, good. So now, you're getting, did you know what I mean? You're getting a little more heavy-duty shit start to happen now. Okay, go. 
kind of beautiful here. Beautiful, beautiful, lacy in the leather. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Where are you here? Where are you? Okay. Interesting. So you had some interesting last week, right? And then you went, boop, something like that is the thing that makes it surreal, which is the aim of Elizabeth Short and every pretty girl coming into LA wants to be that. So you give me a clue to a image that's thrown me off. Not the torso, not the thing, but the wish, right? So you give me the most famous wish of all time, Betty Grable. Give me a clue. Okay, nice. Did you did you put this up deliberately? Like it goes outside of the poster. Love it. See, so then it's like here's the whole design and like my cat paint part of it. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a good designer. You take in everything. Like everything becomes part of it. Very good. She's one of my stars in this class. Because she's not graphics, she's not advertising. I want her to take every one of my classes. She could be brilliant in graduation. She's curious. Venus flytraps? That's George Hoddle, right? Fuck. Only Rollins that smart. Only Rollins a goddamn genius, right? No! I'm just a regular guy. You guys are all asleep. Beautiful. Where are you? Beautiful. Beautiful. Better. Yeah. What's your major? I want you in my class every time, too. It's really beautiful. Decadent looking. Extremely. That combination is interesting. And this web is what chicken wire. Beautiful. See, stuff is starting to happen now. Okay, who's the ladies? You're, you're good going. Where are you? Okay, go. Pull You'll always pull. Pull. Like, Whatever you do, you pull. You pull out. I want to pull out. I'm not. I mean. I just tried to focus on um, other ways to show control in some of them. Yeah, but you always pull out. You weren't here last week. Why do you pull out? Hey, no excuse. I'm not I want to be Jesus Christ, goddammit. I can't. Now, I'm trying to be comfortable with just Roland Young. So have you done this your whole life? You're right at that point, and then you pull out. Yes or no? I'm curious. No, I, I haven't. I haven't done that in my whole life. Okay, you did it one time here, right? What happens if you do it twice? No, I don't. I'm not going to do it twice. How do you know? I just know. Okay, you're gonna take my class over again, right? Seven weeks, you're gonna have it all over again next semester. Week number one, you have to listen to my first day and the bullshit that all the kids talk about. Hi, I'm here for creativity. Hi, I'm here because I wanna be edgy. Hi, everything's cool and awesome. 
Well, it's seven weeks. What do you think so far? Is it cool to be a designer? Isn't it cool? Are you sure? It's hell to be a designer. So you better get used to it. But you pull out all the time. You learn and then you just pull out. I've been here every week before. You pulled out last week! This was due! The first day of the assignment. Hey, I've been here every goddamn day for 10 years. I've been absent one day. How long have you been here? Seven weeks? Eight weeks. I've been here since 75, 64. I didn't miss one day. Why? You didn't let anything get in between you and what you wanted to do. No shit. When? When are you going to do that? No. What happens if you do it one more time? Miss another time? Yeah. Then I'm not. I'm not cut out for for this kind of thing. Right? Are you cut out for this kind of thing? I think so. Okay, you better get it straight now. Because it's not going to change from now on. That's it. The buck stops here. The classes are getting larger and larger, and there are more and more flakes that are coming into this school. Do you understand that? There has to be. There can't be more talent. There's less talent and more bodies. What does that mean? Money for Art Center. No shit. But I'm not the advocates for getting money for Art Center. How's that? I want this place to bankrupt. Then maybe you'll have a school where you have people that really pay attention. Maybe it's another school. What do you think? If you lower the overhead, maybe have one teacher. Huh? How many are there in here? 30? Okay. How much a semester? 12 grand? How much is that times 30? Three hundred sixty thousand. Hmm? Three hundred sixty thousand dollars. Okay, three hundred and sixty thousand dollars for fourteen weeks. What do you think? You think I could start a school in my own in a fucking goddamn Sears robot tool shed and get thirty students for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars every fourteen weeks? Or would you rather go to another school that will give you a degree for $350,000 a semester times 40 so that you get this fucking piece of paper and you can't do anything when you graduate? You could be absent. You can have huge personal problems. You can even have a flat tire. Anything is allowed. Sensation. Supplementation. We need motivation. Right. Your mother says it's okay. Outside the 
subway station. You're taking off your stripes. 